I think it's changed the last couple of years. Uh, the sprinting game, it's uh, yeah. There's been a couple of big changes, like when we had Cipollini and then you know in the HTC era, era where we, we really perfected the lead out train. Now there seems to be three or four teams that have all got pretty good trains organised. So it's changed a little bit in that fact that. I think everybody's on a higher level uh, and everybody knows what to do so it makes it a lot harder to always be in the perfect position. That's my job to do that. Uh, it's one thing, uh, you know, it comes easy for me to be in the right position. Um, it, it varies depending on stages, tailwind, headwind, uh, slightly up, slightly down. Um, you know, it's the best is if you're in the front with, with 200 or less metres to go to the finish line. Uh, you know, I've it's kind of that sweet spot where it's far enough for the sprinter kind of to he can go 100% to the line and and not you know have anybody around him to challenge him i think he's in good shape uh, he's a lot better than where he was last year uh, but he i think he kept it rolling through the off season pretty well uh, it's puts him in good stead for the the next big classics uh, obviously the the goals tirino and milan san remo i think you know cavendish uh, kittel and Greipel, I think they're the three with the, the biggest Palomar over the last few years. Um, you know, there's some great up-and-coming riders coming up, and I think for now we're going to see some exciting sprinting.